Well, Crowe, thanks for joining us on the Skins Injury Update. Let's get straight into it. Zach Merritt suffered a bad knock to the head on the weekend. Are you expecting him to be available for selection at this stage? Yeah, so Zach sustained a concussion on the weekend. Obviously, we take them really seriously. He didn't return to the game because he had a loss of consciousness. Um, he was very good minutes after the incident. Uh, he passed his test uh, yesterday, which is a really good sign. He's asymptomatic at the moment, and he'll uh, join in training without contact tomorrow. And all going well, um, he's looking to be available for selection for the weekend. Now, were there any other issues to come out of that match? No, so out of both AFL and VFL games, fortunately, um, apart from Zach's concussion, we've got through unscathed, so it's a really good result for us um, heading into this weekend. Well, that's good. Another important player is nearing his return. How is Orazio Fantasia going in his recovery? Yeah, so Orazio, I think we mentioned in the last injury update, started his running last week. Um, as of this weekend, our previous weekend, he's running un unrestricted. Obviously, the challenge with Orazio is to get enough conditioning into him, given how much of a high-volume, high-speed player he is. So Orazio will do part of the session uh, tomorrow with the main group, but we'll be uh, making decisions on his level of conditioning before returning him to um, a real match. Now, there are a couple of players who had some slight niggles last week. That was David Myers and Ben McNeese. Are they ready to put their hand up yet? Yeah, so McNeese um, is tracking well. Um, again, he'll do um, a large part of the session tomorrow. Um, with his hamstring tendon niggle, we really want to make sure we get that as good as we can before we put him back in. So he uh, won't be available this weekend, but he'll be uh, pushing hard to become available the following week. Uh, with Myers, um, although, like we spoke about, the scan showed no tear there, he took a couple of days to get going because of his calf tightness. Um, given where he's at, he will also not be available this week. Uh, we'll be um, putting him back in once he's ready. Now, Travis Collier got a bit of work under his under his belt this week and so did Paddy Ambrose. How far away are they? Yeah, so Patrick Ambrose uh, sees his specialist Wednesday afternoon who will review his wound. Um, obviously, until that wound's completely healed, um, Pat can do work. He's done some running but without sweating because um, of the risk of wound infection. We'll make sure that um, once that wound's clear and the surgeon's happy, uh, we'll get a better idea about his time frame. But... We're hoping to get him running and get some work back into him later this week and go from there. And Trav, how, how's he going this week? Yeah, so Trav's had his second run um, over the ground. Obviously, he's had a long time off and will take a while to build up, but uh, he's tracking as planned. Now, Kobe Much and Jaden Laverde are another couple who've been in the recovery group. Are you happy with their progress so far? Yeah, so both uh, Kobe and Jaden will do most of the session tomorrow. Uh, the plan for them has been for them to return VFL round one. Um, look, they'll have a really good hit out later this week um, to make sure they're ready for that match. So overall, are you happy with the progress that all these players are making and that there's going to be some more availability coming soon? Yeah, look, we've got a number of players working together in that rehab group at the moment. Um, none of them are far away, uh, probably with the exception of Gleeson, who came out of his boot this week, um, which is good news for him, but obviously uh, he's spent a lot longer in that boot before he returns. But while we've got a number of players out, we're looking to see most return in the next one to two weeks. Great. Well, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, guys.